Thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers. If you guys want to skip this quick little intro, just skip the one minute into this video. I just want to say thank you guys for the amazing milestone. At the beginning of the year, we were at 15,000 subscribers and now we're at 100,000. It's crazy that you guys have come this far to help support me and help me reach my goal. I know this 100,000 subscriber special video is a little late, but I had to make sure it was perfect for you guys. But without further ado, I just want to say thank you and all you guys are amazing i love you guys so much go follow my instagram which is just gavin ganawicha just my youtube name i'll put it in the description and i will be posting a bunch more stuff there like behind the scenes videos and a bunch of other stuff same with my tiktok make sure to go check that out too as well it's the same username and well let's get started with this video guys thank you guys so much and let's start ranking all of the fnaf funko pops let's go so we're going to be ranking all of these Funko Pops in a very easy and chronological order. So we're going to be starting from FNAF 1 all the way down to the books. So by doing this, we won't lose track and won't get confused on, well, any of the Funko Pops. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So we're going to start off with Flocked Freddy. The difference between Flocked and the normal Freddy is the material that it's made out of. It's more of a fluffier kind of, furrier kind of material, I'd say, and the design's pretty good, so I'd have to say it's a good design. Same with the normal Freddy. The only difference compared to it is, well, it's plastic, but it stays pretty true to what it looks like like in the actual first game so that's pretty good as well the original bonnie does it very well the color is very nice compared to how it is in finance at freddy's one and personally i really like it so it's pretty good chica chica is well what can i say chica has the exact same design as she does in fnaf 1 so she also goes in the good category and with all the other ones foxy is pretty true to the fnaf 1 design so he goes up in the good and the glow in the dark foxy now this design is the exact same as the other foxy but it glows in the dark and has a red hue on it and i kind of like it a lot so that will go in the amazing section. It's pretty different, but I like it. Golden Freddy. Now, I would say this is basically just a reskinned Freddy Fazbear, but well, in the actual game, Golden Freddy is just a reskinned version of Freddy Fazbear, and it looks the exact same, and I really like it. It's a nice gold color on him, so he goes in the good as well. The Cupcake. You kind of can't do much with the Cupcake, because it's, well, it's just a Cupcake, but it stays very true to the FNAF 1 design, and I like it a lot, so it'll also go in the good. Now, this is the Chase version of the FNAF 1 Cupcake. As you can see, the eyes, well, they don't have pupils in it, and it's a little destroyed. I will say it's actually a pretty decent change up from the other design and i like it a lot personally that'll go in the amazing now this design it, well i won't even say this is a different design this is just freddy fazbear and foxy both in the same box which is kind of weird because it doesn't really make sense like why wouldn't they have freddy bonnie and chica and like have a stage box or something i don't know it just seems very lazy when they could have done something like a stage design that's going in the bad and that ends it with finance at freddy's one now we're going to start with finance at freddy's two i would say we start off with a pretty strong and good ranking so far but you kind of can't go wrong in the fnaf one animatronics so let's start in FNAF 2. Toy Freddy is one of the most underrated animatronics, I feel like, when it comes to design and finance at Freddy's. Personally, he has a pretty intimidating design in the second game, and I feel like they kind of capsulated it in this design. But I feel like it could have been better, so that's gonna go in the meh. And then up next is the glow-in-the-dark version of Toy Freddy. Now, I feel like they could have done something like how they did with Foxy, and made him have the same color, but have it have a hue to it or glow. But honestly, it kind of looks interesting, but it's not really doing it for me. And since these are the only two toy animatronics, they could have done done better with them. So he's also going in the meh. Balloon Boy, one of my least favorite animatronics. Now, I will say the design could have been better. Honestly, I really feel like they could have done better with it. Now, I don't know how, but personally, I just feel like it's a reskinned version of a human Funko Pop with a nose on it and some red rosy cheeks. I just don't like it that much personally. It's also going to go in the meh. I feel like it could have been better, but it's not that bad. Shadow Bonnie. Now, Shadow Bonnie isn't purple in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. He's actually black, but I do like how they gave him the purple hue to it, and it's a very strong purple hue, and I really like it and it does a very good job at showing how it's a ghostly animatronic so that's gonna go in the amazing i don't know i just really like how simple it is withered bonnie now they did my boy bonnie terribly he is one of my favorite animatronics in the whole game because of how his face is gone and just the overall design of him his eyes aren't white they're actually red and well that's just the main thing that i don't like about this it could have been such a good funko pop they really did him bad so he's going in the meh the marionette now the marionette i feel like is a very good funko pop he has his little box and the design of his face is really good i'd say it matches and mirrors the FNAF 2 design really well. So this is going to be our first superstar ranking throughout the whole list. Shadow Freddy. Now, as you can see on the box, the box has a purple Freddy on it, but then the actual design isn't purple. Not like Shadow Bonnie is. Now, I feel like they could have done better with the color hue in this design, but it's not a bad animatronic, so he's also going in the meh. And that's it with FNAF 2. We finally got some of our first mehs, but we got our first superstar. And it's a shame that a bunch of the FNAF 2 animatronics had to be put in the lower rankings because FNAF 2 is my favorite game, but they really did these Funko Pops or these animatronics 
animatronics just really bad. But anyways, let's get in the FNAF 3. So we have the flocked version of Spring Trap. As I said earlier with Freddy, the flocked version just has a different material. And personally, I really love Spring Trap. He's one of my favorites throughout the whole franchise. And these are pretty solid designs. The next three Spring Traps we're gonna be going over, I feel like they're all solid designs. So he's gonna go in the good. Now the glow in the dark Spring Trap is perfect in my opinion. I feel like they did the glow in the dark perfectly. I feel like this is what Toy Freddy should have done for the glow in the dark version. So I feel like it's a pretty good design. He's also going with the good. And then the normal Spring Trap. The design's the same as the flocked. It's just a plastic version. Nothing changed. So he's also just gonna go in the good. Nothing crazy about him. Dark Spring Trap. Now this Spring Trap I've actually covered in a couple of my videos before. A bunch of people don't think Dark Spring Trap isn't a real animatronic, but here he is. He's a real animatronic. The cover art does him really well. I like how his eyes are white instead of black, and I like the metallic coating that is on him. It's a very good design for him. I feel like if Dark Spring Trap didn't exist and it was just those three Spring Trap, they should have designed him like this. He's going in the amazing. Phantom Foxy. Now, since he's the only Phantom animatronic or the only Phantom Funko Pop that is available, they could have done a little bit better. I'd say he's okay, but he's not the best. Could have been a little better. So he's going in the middle. We're getting past these pretty fast, I'd say. FNAF 3 had probably some of my favorite Funko Pops, even though they were literally like all Spring Trap. Let's get on the FNAF 4. Now, starting off FNAF 4, I feel like we have a pretty strong roster. I love FNAF 4. It's not my favorite Finance of Freddy's game, but the animatronic designs are amazing. So Funko had to step up their game to make them look terrifying. So starting off is Nightmare Freddy. Now, I feel like Nightmare Freddy is actually probably the weakest Funko Pop throughout the whole FNAF 4 series. I feel like they could have made him more scarier or gave him little freddles on his shoulders or something, but they didn't. They just made him the normal Nightmare Freddy. So he's going in the good, but he's not the best in my opinion. Then we're going with the glow and dark version of Nightmare Freddy. Now, for some reason, this version looks more menacing. The eyes are different, and I feel like since they're more tinier, smaller, and more beanie, they look better. I feel like this is more scary than the actual Nightmare Freddy. So this one's going in the amazing. Nightmare Bonnie. Now, the white eyes, I'm already sold on. I love these Funko Pops when they have the white eyes, except when it comes to Withered Bonnie. I feel like they make them look more ghostly and more just scary, in my opinion. Even though Funko Pops aren't supposed to be scary, I feel like it works really well for the FNAF 4 designs. They should have done this for a couple more. So this is also going to go in the amazing. Nightmare Chica. Now, the first thing I have to say is I don't think her eyes are blue and red in the game. Ignoring that, the huge jaw is perfect. I feel like they emulated the jaw that Chica has that goes basically around her whole head really well in this design. So this is also going to go in the good. Nightmare Fox. Now, Nightmare Foxy, well, is interesting in my opinion. Even though he's basically a copy and paste of the FNAF 1 version, just differently designed, I feel like it works out pretty well, actually. But it's nothing really that special in my opinion, so he's gonna go in the good as well. Jacko Chica. Now, as you guys probably see, on my channel banner, I have Jacko Chica, Jacko Bonnie, Grim Foxy, and the Fire Spring Trap all on my banner. So I am a little bit biased on the Halloween animatronics because I love Halloween and they're on my banner. It's just a reskinning of the Nightmare Chica one, but doesn't have that stupid police car siren eyes. So this is a super superstar in my opinion. Jack O'Bonnie. I don't know why they changed up the color to be so dark for Jack O'Bonnie when they really should have made him a brighter color like how he is in the actual game, but I feel like this design isn't that bad either. I feel like the color schemes could have been better, but they should have made it a brighter color. So unfortunately, I don't really like this design that much because of that, but it doesn't mean it's a bad design. I don't think it is a bad design, so it's just gonna go in the good. The Nightmare Cupcake. As I said earlier with the FNAF 1 Cupcake, you kind of can't do much with the cupcake, but I feel like they emulated the Nightmare Cupcake design pretty well for the FNAF 4 version. There's not much you could really do with it. So I'd say it's actually pretty decent for what they were working with. It could have been better, but it wasn't that bad in my opinion. And that was it for FNAF 4. I'd say the FNAF 4 series of Funko Pops has some of the best Funko Pops I've seen for Finance at Freddy's. They were all heavily detailed and they all look pretty decent. But anyways, let's get in the FNAF sister location because these ones are the ones that have the most detail. Funtime Foxy. Now this version is just the normal version. It's not the mechanical version of Funtime Foxy. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be what Mangle was before, but I'm not going to include it in the FNAF 2 version because Funtime Foxy isn't in FNAF 2 Mangle is. So that's why I'm not including it for the FNAF 2, but instead the sister location. Cause well, as you can see coming up, these are the same designs. For something as simple as it is, it's okay. So it will go in the good. Now the flock version gives it more color and gives it a different texture. And I feel like it makes it, as you can see, the saturation on the colors are way higher and it makes it way brighter. It looks better than the other one in my opinion. So this one's gonna go in the amazing. Now we have the actual Funtime Foxy from sister location, you know, the robotic version. Now this one does a very good job at making it have the robotic look to it. So this one's gonna go in the amazing. There's not much to say about it. It emulates what the original Funtime Foxy look was going for and it looks really well. The Chase version of Funtime Foxy. Now the Chase version, unfortunately, I don't like it. And that's just because the face looks kind of goofy. It just doesn't look too well in my opinion. It's a pretty good design overall. I just don't really like it that much. And that's my personal opinion. Circus Baby. Now Circus Baby is a fan favorite. And personally, they did a really good job with her. She emulates the sister location design very well. And there's not much to say about her except she looks really good. So she's gonna go in the good. The Chase version of Circus Baby also looks a little bit funky but this one looks better than the Foxy version. I'm gonna have to put her in the good as well. Could have been better, but it also could have been way worse.
Christmas. Funtime Freddy. Now this one is a perfect design in my opinion. This one brought Bon Bon and Funtime Freddy together perfectly in my opinion. This is what the Nightmare Freddy should have done with the Freddles. They should have incorporated the Freddles into the design somehow, but this design does what that design should have done and it does it perfectly. So I'd say that's a superstar design. And the Chase version does it even better. Now the Chase version looks like the actual version of Funtime Freddy when he has his endoskeleton showing and I feel like it does a very good job at emulating that as well. This design is going to go in the amazing as well. Ballora. I don't like this Ballora design because first of all, I feel like the head is too big. Even though the Funko Pop heads are supposed to be big, it just doesn't look right. I feel like they should have done something a little bit different with the head and the design just doesn't look like Ballora. It looks off. So it's going in the bad. But the Chase version on the other hand is really good in my opinion. The big eyes staring right at you into your soul is very creepy and I like that a lot. Since the head is taken apart, it doesn't give it a huge look to it and it actually kind of looks pretty decent. So this version is actually pretty good. I really like this version compared to the other version. Bon Bon. Now there's not much to say. Bon Bon, they did the best they could with it and I feel like it doesn't look bad and it looks pretty decent. Bon Bon stays away from the traditional Funko Pop look and I'd say it looks pretty good. Lol Bit. Now Lol Bit also kind of does the same design as Bon Bon. It doesn't follow the traditional Funko Pop design. It's a TV with Lol Bit on it. So I'd have to say that's a superstar. I think it's pretty good. Now we're on to FNAF 6 or also known as Pizzeria Simulator. And now after these Funko Pops, now we're going to be going into the miscellaneous, into the book ones too. So we're starting off with Rockstar Freddy. Rockstar Freddy, I don't know. I feel like they didn't do it that well in my opinion. The head shape is just off and I don't know. I feel like the color scheme could have been a little bit different. It looks like it's trying too hard to be an off-brand toy Freddy. And even though I know the Rockstar animatronics are kind of supposed to look like that, this Funko Pop doesn't do it the best. So this is going to go in the mid. Rockstar Foxy. Rockstar Foxy has actually a pretty decent design. It does everything the design does in the game and it has this little, little instrument that I forgot the name of. And it's a little parrot and I think it's a pretty cute design. So I'd say it's pretty good. Pig Patch. I like it. It's a pretty decent design. So he's going to go in the good. Orville Elephant. Now, Orville Elephant is also a pretty decent design for the material that they're working with. And well, I don't really say what else they could have done to it except make it the way it is right now. And I feel like it's a pretty good design. So that'll also go in the good. Helpy. Now, I don't like this Helpy design. I use Helpy in every single one of my YouTube videos almost. And I love the character. The eyes, I just don't like it. Even though his eyes are actually blue, I just don't, I just don't know. I just don't think the color scheme works. But I'm not saying that's a bad animatronic. It's a good animatronic and it's a good Funko Pop. And I mean, it could have just been a little bit better, but I don't know how they would have fixed it. So personally, this one's just me, but I think it's a meh. I feel like it could have been better. Lefty. Lefty is also one of my favorite animatronics, and I feel like this design is perfect for him. It's a very good design. He's missing his left eyeball, and the color scheme is perfect. So he's going in the superstar. Mr. Hippo. I hate Mr. Hippo, at least in the games, not the Funko Pop. The Funko Pop is pretty good to his actual character. You know, the eyes are a little weird too, just like how Helpies is, but you know, that's his eye color, and I guess they couldn't have done anything else different. I feel like it could have just been a little bit better. So he's going in the mid. Happy Frog. Happy Frog kind of looks like a dinosaur in this one, but Happy Frog's an okay design. I feel like all these designs could have been better but they just didn't know how to do the eye colors correctly or they didn't know what to do for them and i feel like that's the biggest fault for most of these animatronics in fnaf 6 is that the eye colors just look a little weird but the happy frog color scheme looks pretty good and i think it's a decent animatronic for what it looks like even though it kind of looks like a dinosaur but oh well so that's it with the finance at freddy's games they don't have any other animatronics for like the glam rocks or anything like that yet but they do have some of these miscellaneous animatronic funko pops that we should take a look at before we go into the book so let's do that right now these are the blacklight animatronics i've actually featured them in one of my videos before and they were cut animatronics from FNAF Help Wanted. So these were supposed to be in a game but they were cut so now they're just miscellaneous. So we're gonna start off with Freddy. Freddy is a pretty simple design. These are all just reskins of the FNAF 1 animatronics so you kind of can't say much about them but none of these designs are actually bad at all. If I'm gonna be grouping them or counting them none of them are bad. They all have a unique color scheme so I'd say Freddy he's pretty good and I'd also say Bonnie he's pretty good as well and then I'd say Chica. The Chica color is a little bit dark. The purple is a little bit dark but it's a black light animatronic and it works pretty well too. Now the Foxy is also pretty good. I'd say just all these are good animatronic designs. And then the cupcake. The cupcake's a little weird, so he's going in the mat. But now we're gonna go to the tie-dye animatronics. Now the tie-dye animatronics, well, they're tie-dye. So the tie-dye animatronics are also pretty decent too. I don't like the tie-dye color on Freddy, so he's going in the mat. But the Bonnie color, it's like a galaxy color almost, like a dark matter tie-dye color. And I think that's pretty cool. I put that in the amazing. The Chica color is also pretty good as well, but it's not the best, but it's not the worst. So he's gonna go, or she's gonna go in the good. And then the Foxy, the Foxy color is very interesting. Foxy looks like a bombsicle right here, but it's not bad. So he's also also gonna go in the good. Now we're at the worst Funko Pops. These are the Balloon and Circus Funko Pops and these are brand new and personally these are my least favorite of all of them. Now this one is about to be very biased, maybe a little bit unfair, but I hate this whole drop of Funko Pops. I mean they're all unique but they're like unique in the bad way. So we're gonna start off with Balloon Foxy. He just looks like a furry. Bad. He looks like he just got lost at Chuck E. Cheese. Very bad. Balloon Bonnie. This is not Bonnie, okay? This is this is like a Disney character. Bad. Very bad. Chica. Chica looks like a peep. It's a little bit better but bad. Now Circus Foxy. What is this? This is like, this isn't Finance at Freddy's. This is terrible. Now the Circus Freddy is better in my opinion. Circus Freddy is actually pretty decent, but it's not that good as well. So he's going in the 
Batman. Now, this is just very lazy as well. Like what we had with the FNAF 1, Foxy and Freddy's set. This is just two of them together. This is just the balloon Freddy and the balloon Bonnie together. So that's going in the very bad. Yeah, we got past that pretty fast, but I just hate those. And if you guys disagree with me, if you get upset, it's my opinion, whatever. But anyways, we're going on to the books. We're going to start off with Twisted Freddy. Now, Twisted Freddy, Twisted Freddy is a pretty good design, I feel like. The eyes are terrifying. It looks like how it would in the actual book, and I really like this design. I put that in the amazing. The Twisted Wolf. Now, the Twisted Wolf is a unique character only in the books. I like it a lot. The design is really good, and for someone that hates reading and read these books and actually thinks the design is pretty good and actually likes the character, I feel like this is a good design for said character. So, it's going to go in the good. Twisted Bonnie. Now, Twisted Bonnie is terrifying. With the extra set of jaws that he has, the sharp teeth, and just the degrading all around him, it's a scary animatronic. I like the design a lot. He's going to go in the superstar. Twisted Foxy. Now, this design is also very true to how it is in the book with him coming out of the dirt the extra jaws and basically just well everything about him it looks like his skin's melting off and i like it because of that that's also a superstar twisted chica now twisted chica has the pair of jaws in her torso or well in her hips and has the cupcake basically melted onto her face which is disgusting and this design is a very good interpretation of how twisted chica is in the books and i like this design just as much as the other one so this one's also gonna be a superstar and now we have theodore from the books the design's pretty good but i never really liked the character theodore that much i never really like these three characters that much because I feel like they strayed away from the, you know, actual FNAF field too much. But the designs aren't bad. Theodore has a pretty simple and interesting design. And I like it pretty well. So he's going to go in the good. Stanley. Now, Stanley is a very interesting design as well. I like Stanley a lot. It's a pretty simple and decent design. So he's also going to go in the good. And the last one, Ella. For everything that she is in the book, it's a pretty okay design. I feel like they could have done it better though, given her a little bit more cracks and stuff. So it's going in the mix.